Now and then, I like to throw a completely non-radio related video into the mix, because you seem to enjoy them. These lights spark a nostalgia in me, and I'm pretty sure they and this video will too. I'm not a street lamp nerd. Many are, and I use nerd as a title of honour here. I'm a massive nerd, and I'm proud of it. In my research for this video, I discovered that there's a whole community for those who admire street lighting, and their knowledge is seriously impressive. I, on the other hand, have this orange glow running through my childhood as a constant thread, a backdrop to Christmases and New Year's gone by, a brew at Nan's house, Wednesday evenings at Gran and Grandad's. As these warm orange lights turned pink and faded in later years, so did Nan, Gran and Grandad. Now they're all just memories, but this warming orange glow says home to me. The genius that was the intertwined minds of Craig Cash and Carolina Hearn captured this beautifully in the royal family, and I'm sure many of you noticed the glow behind the curtains in every episode set during the evening. When I moved into my first home, I too enjoyed the ambient light that flooded the room from behind the blinds, until the area was stripped of its old lamps and changed to the harsh cold white LED lights that are rapidly taking over today. But what does all this mean? Well, nothing, but I found some of what are now a dying breed and thought I'd take you along for a ride. Socks lamps were at one time the most common lamp used for lighting roads. They've been largely replaced in vast swathes across the country by metal halide and now more modern LED lamps. They work by creating an electrical arc through vaporised sodium metal. Apparently, as I understand it, SOX lanterns eventually react with themselves, which causes them to ultimately fail. They give out an orange monochromatic light, and they give poor colour rendering, but they're good at lighting areas covered by CCTV, as the light isn't affected greatly by mist and fog. The colour is a single monochromatic orange line on the spectrum at 589 nanometers, known as the sodium D line. This is the M60 motorway at Breadbury in Stockport. Here you'll find a large stretch of MA50 and MA60 SOX lamps, but today many have been cut down or switched off. This is how it used to look in the not so distant past. Produced primarily for main road and motorway use, the Philips MA60 was the largest member of the MA range of lanterns produced by Philips, MA meaning main road lanterns. Introduced in 1972, the MA60 has a fiberglass canopy and injection moulded prismatic bowl. I think these are 180 watt lamps. Now, I won't claim to be an expert on street lighting, so I look forward to all of the comments packed with information below, because I made this video really to spark your nostalgia, but also learn for myself. I was told there's MA50s here too. These are a 135 watt variant, used on more major roads. Is there a way to tell the MA50s and the MA60s apart? Let us know. I was excited to come back at night to see this array of lamps lit up in the late December fog, but I was disappointed. Looking both clockwise and anticlockwise revealed that all but a handful of individual lamps are switched off. One source told me that they're switched off for the foreseeable future, and a replacement is under review, meaning they'll likely be cut down, like some of the others further up the carriageway. Another source told me that the authorities are looking to source some dwindling remaining parts to get them up and running again, as this is more cost effective than an all out replacement. However, Philips ceased production of the Philips MA lanterns in 2014, and the last Philips socks factory at Hamilton in Scotland ceased production in 2020. Therefore, I don't know how true any of this is. As you can see, these lamps are really unloved these days. How old they are exactly, I don't know. This stretch of socks lamps starts at Breadbury and runs two miles up to Denton, but before we head over that way, I thought I'd show you an interesting side note. You'll notice that the double lamps are lighting, well, nothing. On the left is a large grass strip, and on the right is a closed ghost slip road. To the right of that is the active slip road to the M60 from Breadbury, which joins the motorway in lane 3. Quite an unusual design, and it catches many people out. This grass strip and go slip road was actually supposed to be the A6M, a motorway that never was. 
The idea of a stretch of motorway here was first conceived back in 1945, with revisits in the 1960s. It would have formed part of Manchester's Ring Road. By the late 1970s, the decision was taken that it would no longer be part of the Outer Ring Road, but rather a standalone feature of the motorway network, providing relief to, but also feeding further down the A6, which runs through Stockport up to Hazel Grove. In 1998 the idea was finally written off and the slip roads are all that's left of what would have been the A6M. If you'd like a more detailed explanation then I'll link a video by John at Auto Shenanigans in the description below. Anyway, back to the lights. To see a more complete array of SOX lamps we need to head two miles anti-clockwise from Breadbury over to Denton and a view of them from the footbridge. The situation here is somewhat healthier although there are still plenty of dead lamps. You can see them in pairs on the run up to Denton from Breadbury, but looking past the interchange up the motorway, they change to more modern lamps, which I think are LED. The Denton Rock Tower looks great in the icy fog and drizzle, and this is one of those UFOs that everybody's been seeing lately. A closer inspection reveals another load of those damn LEDs. Anyway, it was cold and wet here, too cold for the drone to go up, so on the way home, I wanted to show you one final gem. This is Welkin Road in Stockport, near Welkin Mill. This road is perhaps most well known locally for the grisly events that took place here in September 1999, but we're here to look at what I think may be another array of SOX lamps. These formed concrete lamp posts predate my youth, but are another solid feature of my childhood from evenings playing out on the estate. Unfortunately, these are all but dead. Some have had their innards ripped out, others are missing their lamps and some are hanging on by just a thread. At the end of the road however is a nice surprise. Powering on through the mist and against the progression of technology, amongst its crappier and less characterful modern counterparts, is the final LED lamp in this chain, still lit. So, nothing really of any value in terms of education for you, but hopefully a nostalgia trip if nothing else. I'd love any information on these lamps, especially the Welking Road ones. I'd quite like to know what model they are too. Any corrections are most welcome, and if you know of any others in the Manchester or surrounding areas, then let us know too. I'm sure there's some on the M602 near Salford, and there's definitely others on the M60, but infrastructure like this is fading fast.